Good, Good news, morning, crew. Larkin. How are you? Right. We need to get you a folding chair. <laughs> All right. How are you? You look good. All right. Okay. Well, I, I brought Riker. Oh, we're gaining one. We'll wait. Yep. One and an assistant. <laughs> yeah, come on, Riker. <laughs> good to see ya. Hi, Riker. How are you? Awesome. Good job. <laughs> All right. So I, I brought a friend with me today. And you guys might actually have some of these at your house. And we're going to do this. And our person, oh my, got very dirty and messy. So what should we do to our person? We don't want him to look like that. Should we wash him? Should we pour some water on him? You think that'll help? All right, let's pour some water on him. Yeah, well, I washed too. That's okay. All right. Let's see if we can wipe him off. And All right. Does he look better now? Yes. All right. Well, today we're going to talk about something that involves water. We're going to talk about baptism. And in baptism, we think about water as a symbol or like a sign. Helps us think about it. And the water, the baptism, we think about it, how it helps. The image is that it helps us know that our sins are taken away. But there's no magic in the water. It's not about the water. It's all about Jesus who died on the cross and came back to life for us. Okay? And Jesus does that. And when we're baptized, that's the sign for us to say to other people, hey, I belong to Jesus. I'm a Christian. I follow God. So some people baptize in different ways. Some people put just a little bit of water. We call that sprinkling, just a little bit. That's what we do here at our church. So just a little bit. We'll give him just a smidge, not too much. Okay? Some people baptize he goes all the way under the water. And that's the kind that Jesus had. And both are fine. And it doesn't, one isn't right and one isn't wrong. Both are good. Some people are baptized as a baby. Some people are about six or seven. Yeah, some people could even be adults. And all of those are good. So today, when you go home, I want you to ask mom and dad, about your baptism, and then ask them about their baptism. All right, now, we are born, and just like our person got all kind of messy, well, we kind of make mess out of our lives because we do bad things that are sin. And sometimes we don't even mean to, but it still happens. Okay, But we know that God will forgive us always because he sent us Jesus to take our place. Okay, and he loves us no matter what we do. Jesus was baptized too. Well, why was Jesus baptized? Because Jesus didn't do anything wrong. He was God. He is God without sin. But he still chose to be baptized. And he was baptized by his cousin John, John the Baptist. Now, John, when Jesus said, John, I want you to baptize me, John went, oh, no, Jesus, you're the Messiah. I should not be baptizing you. You should be baptizing me. I'm not worthy. But Jesus said, nope, it needs to be this way. You baptize me. So John did. And when Jesus came up out of the water, the heavens opened up and there was a dove. And that was the voice of God. And God said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Can you make a triangle for me with your fingers? So we have three parts of God. We have God the Father. We have Jesus the Son and the Holy Spirit. And all three parts were present 
when Jesus was baptized because we hear the voice of God. We saw the dove, and Jesus was the one being baptized. So there's all three parts of our trinity. So Jesus was showing when he was baptized that he is who he said he was. I am the Son of God. I am God. And he died that we could have eternal life. So that's something that we should remember when we wash our hands, take a bath or a shower, and we see that water, that we know that we're made clean in our hearts because of Jesus. Can we say a prayer? You guys are such great listeners. Thank you. Thank you. For baptism. For baptism. Thank you. Thank you. For washing our sins away. For washing our sins away. And making us clean. And making us clean. Help us always remember. Help us to always remember. To live in your presence. To live in your presence. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your love. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Super listening. Thank you, Riker. Thank you, Larkin. <laughs> Thank you.